What am I building today? Incredibles! Welcome to Built From Bricks, I'm Brian and today I am doing a review of the Elastigirl Rooftop Pursuit. And it's a really cool set. We did do a live stream of it, which you may see. But I want to do a little more in-depth detail review and so check out the video and let us know what you think in the comments. So Elastigirl in the set is the funniest piece I believe. With these long arms, I get what they're trying to do. It's really cool that they made their arms like that. She is part of the Elastigirl Rooftop Pursuit and she's basically trying to catch the screen slaver in his helicopter. So we have the screen slaver over here and it came with a helicopter which is pretty easy to build. It was a pre-built helicopter and the cockpit opens and there's actually a really cool escape hatch in the back which I'll show you in one moment as well with some close-ups. And there wasn't too much else detail with this set. You have her motorcycle and then we also have the really cool sign above which a cool thing about this set is the printed pieces. So if we come up here you can see this really cool sign an 18% approval rating increase. So I guess that's a good thing. People are happy about her in the city. And let's get into some more of the details. The back of the helicopter, and again, this was a one-piece helicopter. It is a junior set. The, the skids did attach separately. But I like this feature here, which is a back door. It's like an escape hatch, so you could parachute, he could parachute out of the helicopter. And I don't see a lot of the helicopters coming with that design. And we're thinking, which I don't know much about the movie, that he's called the screen slaver because he enslaves people as they watch their computer screens or TV screens. And you can see on top here we have this spiral thing which might look really cool if I spin it. So I'm going to try that right now. Maybe I'm getting you dizzy and sleepy. I'm not sure, but it looks pretty cool. And all of this will come out when the movie comes out. And let's go into a few more details about the set. So here we have the basic helipad area. Just simple tiles. Uh, rooftop scene. Next to that we have the rooftop vent. It looks like just a vent for air to come out of what is below. And then along further we have a satellite dish. The satellite dish has some sort of lightning bolt looking out of it and I think that's just to create the effect that it's actually transmitting power or data somewhere. I think this would be perfect in Brick Island on a rooftop. One of the rooftops in the building I have an idea for which one it's going to go on and we'll see it show up in another episode on top of a roof in Brick Island. All done! So that was a cool build. I like the set. I love the pieces. I can't wait for the movie to come out. It's really fun. I love um, Jack-Jack. keep messing up his name. But he's Jack-Jack. It's been 10 years since the first movie. Been waiting for this one for so long. And the sets that go with it, they are junior sets. But we do have all the minifigs now for The Incredibles, which is really cool. So hope you enjoyed this episode. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube at Built From Bricks. As well as our live stream every Thursday at 6 p.m. Thanks for watching. What have you built today?